going for you so far? Uh, spring's going good. Uh, it took me a little, it took me like two or three practices to get back in my groove, but I feel good out there. Why, why do you think it took you a few practices to get back in the groove? Uh, you know, just, just getting back in the, in the flow of things, moving, covering people, you know what I'm saying? Like just, just getting back into the way we do things. Hey, Coach Fisher mentioned, you know, that you guys have a NFL mentality. Um, just extra film, extra film, coaching up the guys that just came in and paying, paying attention to the little details that we mess up on. Like we might mess up on something in practice. We go to the film room, correct it. You don't want to mess up on it after you correct it. So just paying attention to those little keen details. What, what are the details that you've been on? Um, you know, my feet, moving my feet and just just being, being quicker with my calls. You know, like I know the defense, but I'm just trying to make it a little bit better. And make it make the game easier for my teammates. It might be stuff that they they don't see that I see, so I want to point that out. But still being able to do my job by helping them on the field. Do you think that you have to do that more this year? You're trying to take more of that leadership role, especially with the new guys, uh, new guys coming in. Uh, yes, I do feel like I have to take that role, and I've been trying to. I've been trying to like prepare myself for it and just prepping myself, being able to be the go-to guy. Like if somebody has a question, okay, you can ask me and I'll give you the correct answer, you know what I'm saying? Just just being able to be that helping aid so Coach Fitz doesn't have to do it all. What did you learn from we had some, some experienced guys kind of move up on from that last eight videos with this meet? What did you learn from those guys about being that type of leader? Um just knowing that you gotta be you gotta show tough love sometimes. Like everybody in the room can't be friends. You know, we're friends outside of football, but in the field we're business partners, you know what I'm saying? So it's like if somebody's not um, handling their business, I'm going to let them know that they're not handling their business. And vice versa, they do the same for me. Yeah, they kind of late and you might have already been asked, but what's kind of been your goal for this spring? Um, just, just getting myself ready, you know, and tuning up, fine tuning a couple things that I messed up on last year. Try not to make the same mistakes. Like I just told him, like, I don't want to correct something in film and then go out there and make the same mistakes. So just paying attention to those small details and getting everybody on board that's new. Every, all the new people getting them on board. And it's been going good so far. Everybody is on, on page with the playbook. So it's just extra film that we got to watch and get used to playing with each other. What's the adjustment in the room been like where you, you kind of came in and you had Deontay and you had Markel and you had kind of older guys, Cam. And now, like you said, there's a lot of new guys and you're a veteran. Uh, I mean, it, it, it feels a little different, you know, being able to be that guy that people look to. And I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't really feel too much different. It's just, it's not, it's like a bigger role for me, I guess. Like just stepping into that bigger role, becoming a professional, taking care, to, like putting time into your craft, basically. Is that something that you've had to learn over time in your few years now? Like, is that something that as a freshman, you're like, oh, I don't quite understand, but like putting in all of this extra time that you kind of have a better grasp of now? Um, yeah, because as a freshman, it was just like, okay, I just need to learn the playbook right now. Right? And over time, it's like, I already learned the playbook, but I need to figure out why we're running this call and why we're doing this thing and what I can tell my uh, my safety next to me that's going to benefit us in this play. Like, just learning the ins and outs of the defense and becoming a pro with it, you know? Like, just being quick on your feet, like quick, quick thinking, you know what I mean? What do you feel like you do with the communication aspect of you know, back there as a safety, you gotta be able to talk and get guys more. Uh, I feel like I do good with that. You know, um, it's a lot of pre-snap communication that that goes into that. That makes it a lot smoother. So, like, if I see if I see the offense in a formation, I'm be like, okay, this guy move, we're gonna go here. And then I'm talking about that all through before the quarterback snaps the ball. So, it's just knowing your reads and pre-snap pre-snap communication. That's all it is. Is that part of when you have some new guys out there that you've had this spring, kind of getting used to how they communicate? Yeah, that's what that's what I was the best way to. Yeah, that's what I was harping on with just getting used to playing with people, mm -hmm. new people, and just talking them through everything. They might not know it, I'm gonna just talk them through it so it can play smooth. And if they didn't know it, we'll correct it in film so they do know it the next time they see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. How's Deshaun Singleton? Deshaun's doing good. Deshaun's good. Deshaun sits right next to me in film, so it's a lot of stuff that I might get chewed out on that I messed up on, and he he has the advantage to like, okay, I'm not gonna make that mistake. You know? Yeah. So yeah, Deshaun sitting next to me in film, so he's doing good. He's learning as Everybody else. Appreciate it. I appreciate, appreciate it.